Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this first part of this 8 question. And the question says ABCD is a rectangle in which diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. You have to show that that ABCD is a square. Now, this is a rectangle given to you means its opposite sides must be equal this side must be equal to this side and this side must be equal to this side and the diagonal, this diagonal is bisecting angle A as well as angle C and bisecting means this diagonal dividing this angle A into two equal parts as well as its dividing angle C into two equal parts and you have to prove that this is a square and square means it's all four sided must be equal now DC is equals to AB and DA equals to CB is already given to you this side must be equal to this side and this side must be equal to this side because this is a rectangle and rectangle has its opposite sides equal and what you have to do is because this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side you have to prove that this side is equal to this side and if this side is equal to this side and this is equal to this this is equal to this and this equal to this means all four are uh, will become equal now for that what you have to do is you have to prove that this triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC these two and if these two triangles are congruent so obviously by CPCT we will uh, we'll be able to prove that this side is equal to this side. Now, uh, first of all, let's write the triangles in which we are working in triangle. This is triangle in triangle A, D, C and triangle A, B, C. We have to prove that these two triangles are congruent and for that, this angle this angle is equal to this angle this is given to you because this AC diagonal is bisecting angle A means this is dividing this angle into two equal parts and this angle of this triangle is equal to this angle of this triangle and the triangle the angle is angle DAC is equal to angle CAB this is given to you Similarly, this angle of this triangle is equal to this angle of this triangle. This is again given to you because AC is bise also bisecting angle C. And that angle is DCA is equal to angle ACB. This is again given to you. And in the third, AC is equal to AC. This is common side for both the triangles means this side must be equal for both the triangles. So we have proved that one angle, one side and one angle in both the triangles are equal. So by angle, side, angle property we can conclude that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So triangle ADC is congruent to triangle a B C this is triangle this is by angle side angle property of congruency now if these two triangles are congruent so obviously this side must be equal to this side and this side must be equal to this side now this is already equal to this which is given to you and if 
this side is equal to this this is already given to you and you have proved that this side is also equal to this side so obviously all three sides must be equal and this side is already given equal to this side in the here so obviously by this all four sides are equal so we can con conclude that that ad is equal to ab this is by cp ct corresponding part of congruent triangle this side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle so this is our third equation this can be our first this can be our second so this is our first equation this is our second equation and this is our third equation now using all three equations using equation first second and third we can conclude that all four sides that is ab is equal to bc equal to cd is equal to ad all four sides are equal and if all four sides are equal that means uh, abcd is a square so this is how you can prove this first part of this eighth question in the next video we'll solve the next part of the same question i hope you have understood how to solve this one still if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you